Okay, I'm just going to show you how to install Panasonic HD Writer version 2.1. It's probably very similar to for any other version of Panasonic HD Writer, and that is basically software to edit videos you record using Panasonic high definition camcorders such as the one I bought which I've got the V550 camcorder which I'm actually using to make this video that's what it looks like and basically the software I'm about to install comes in the box with the camcorder let's just see what it says on the back just so you can see there you go they're the operating systems you need for using it. Okay, so when you install the CD into your drive, either whatever you've got, a CD, ROM drive, DVD, ROM drive, or as I've got Blu-ray, put it in there. Next thing you'll see will be this window here, and then I've clicked on run setup.exe, and then down the bottom I've got this flashing away. So I guess it's that, so click on that. Yep, yeah, there you go. Do you want to allow the following program to make program to make changes to this computer? Yes. Click on yes. I'll try to show you as many steps of this as I can. Hopefully it won't take too long to install. Right, oop, you've got two things happening. That down the bottom right of your screen. Let's see if I can move that. No. Oh yes I can. So you've got two windows just popped up. Let me move a few things out of the way. I'll move that up there so it's easier to film them together. Right. Oh, there you go. It takes between 15 and 30 minutes. Bloody hell. Alright, let's click yes. Right, well, continue to install. Continue, click on next. Here's a license agreement. What does the license say? It's obviously not allowed to copy the software. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, right, I accept. Tick, click there so you accept the license agreement. Then click on next. Uh, TV system select selection. Select the area. So I'm in the United Kingdoms. United Kingdoms uses the PAL system. If you're in the USA, it would be NTSC. So I'm doing it for UK PAL. Click on next. Yes. And then you choose where you want to install it. Uh, it's not telling me exactly. I need to see the entire path, if you don't mind. Um, so I'm going to click on change. There'll be times where I'm going to have to, for my security reasons, I'm not sure exactly where it's been going. Ah, oh, okay. I can I can show you that. Right. C forward slash program files. I'm writing this down. X eighty six forward slash Panasonic. Sorry, that's backslash and then backslash HD writer L E two. Okay. So just you need to know where you're putting it. So C program files X eighty six is fine. And then click on OK. And then. Click on next. Do you want to create a shortcut on the desktop? Yes, I do. And what is a shortcut? I hear you ask. Shortcut is any of these like logos you get for software you use. So all you've got to do is click on the logo on your desktop and the software opens. So that's what you're going to create for this. So yes, I do want a shortcut. Obviously, if I don't explain something as I'm filming it, feel free to leave me a comment on this video on YouTube and uh, I'll try to answer it if I can and if I can't answer it then maybe someone else that views the video will be able to answer it so 
And in case you're wondering, I'm installing this onto a Windows 7 computer. Microsoft Windows 7 I use on my desktop computer. And uh, while that's doing that, let's quickly get the box up again. So these are the operating systems this software can go on. It can go on Windows XP, which has been around since 2001. Windows Vista, which I've also used, which came out in, I don't know, roughly, when was that, 2006-ish? Windows 7. Okay, and Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, which has just got an absolute slating in the press. Nobody seems to like it. And people hate it so much. Windows are skipping doing Windows 9. And they're going to release... Uh, the next version is going to be called Windows 10. There's not going to be a Windows 9. It's going to be a Windows 10. Okay, right, here we go. It's starting to install. I'll film this just so you can see what, what is the normal process. And in case you're wondering, that that is a happy dragonfly I've got there on my computer screen. Let me move this and show you. There you go. That is a dragonfly that came into my garden and it genuinely has a happy face like that on it. It's quite amazing when I filmed it. There you go. So, so at the moment the Panasonic software is being installed onto my C drive and as they told you this whole process can take between 15 and 30 minutes depending on what computer you've got so obviously the less memory you've got you know if you're using an old Windows XP computer with say one gigabyte of RAM memory um, this will probably take half an hour I've got a quad core computer that's pretty fast with four gigabytes of RAM so this should shouldn't take too long I should be near the 15 minute mark, I hope. Because I've got a powerful computer. And a friend of mine, Elliot, has made a video showing you how to actually use this software. So I'm not, I'm not going to bother. Well, I doubt I'll bother making a video showing you how to actually use the software. I'll simply put a link in my um, description of this video linking to Elliot's video. So once you've installed the software, you can then watch a 10 minute video showing you. Oh, I was just reading that. I'll then I'll, I'll put a link to Elliot's video showing you how to um, actually use the software. And this is to edit videos because Panasonic camcorders record in something called AVC HD, which is a form of um, high definition video that I think is of Blu ray quality. And uh, the file sizes are just huge when you record in full HD on, on a camcorder. In fact, let me try and find an example for you. While it's doing nothing, let me just see if I can do something. Yeah, I know what I can do. Hold on a minute. Hold on a sec. I just need to look away while I find something. I just need to find some camcorder footage I've recorded recently. give you an idea of the size of the videos are. Right, okay. Right, here's some videos I recorded on my camcorder. Let's have a look at that. If I click on that one, an 11 minute long video takes up 1.68 gigabytes. Jesus Christ. Let's try a few other ones, just give you an idea. A two minute video takes up 289 megabytes. Wow. Let's try and find... I'll give you a few examples so you can get an idea. 500 megabytes for a three minute video. 500 megabytes. Let's see if I've got a real shorter video anywhere. So there you go. A 36 second video takes up 95 megabytes. Okay, that just to give you an idea. Right, what's this saying? Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, I thought it said it, it, it did not. An evaluation will give you indicated that it has enough processing performance for playback, thank God. However, playback quality can be affected by your video card performance. Any installments are running on there. In that's case, you select tools. Right, 
I need to write that down because I'm never going to remember that. So if playback not OK, select tools in HD writer in settings, then select movie playback. ABC HD playback settings and adjust the number of frames. Okay, All right, I've written it down. Let's click on OK. I've now been recording for nearly 11 minutes. And what I do whenever I install a bit of software on my computers. I use one sheet of A4 paper and I make notes, which I'll quickly show you. So write down the title of the software. So Panasonic HD Writer, obviously you'd file in a filing, um, an A4 file under letter P. And then you write down the time and date you started doing the install. So if, if anything goes wrong with your computer, you'll be able to look back and see, oh, you know, ever since the 12th of January, so it's, let's say 3 p.m., my computer started playing up. You'll, you'll know that probably because you installed a bit of software so and then write down a few of the steps you do if you want write down where you install it and then write down any notes you make about how to use the software like I was just reading out then but they were telling you if playback is not okay select tools in HD writer in settings select movie god I wrote this so quickly and scrawly it's horrible select movie playback ABC HD playback settings and add number of things god I can hardly read my own line that's terrible Right now, this has come up, believe me. Let me just move this up here. Okay, so this has just popped up. One of these README files. Adobe Acrobat Reader is required. Well, I've already got that. Most people would have that. That's the software used to read PDF files. Use of AC adapter is recommended. Um, no, so I might have to restart the computer for this install to completely work. No, oh, that's annoying. I hate having to restart the computer. Right? So this is only for Panasonic, as you see there. It's not for any other. So if you've gone and bought a Sony camcorder or a Canon camcorder, don't try and use this. To have administrator privileges on the computer you're using for it to work. Okay. Right, so that's just a README file, so I can close that. So just Click on the top right X there, get rid of that. Right. And to learn, Install Shield has successfully installed HD Writer. Before you can use the program, you must restart your computer. Ah. So I can't quit, I can't do yes and then click finish. I need to close down some other programs that are currently running before I can actually do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to close down a few programs running on my computer, then I'll restart my computer. And then the software should be ready to use. And there you go, there's the shortcut on my desktop for it. That's what the logo looks like, HD Writer LE 2.1. So there you go. That's how to install the software, and it's taken me 14 and a half minutes, including filming this for you. So there you go. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.